Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. Look who I'm here with. That's Tracy Cunningham Hi. over there and Slim Hello. of Olaplex and this beautiful model. What's your name? Amber. 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 Okay, so we're on set on a Sunday at the Water Street Studio with Roberto Legresti and it's a beautiful day outside so hopefully we're going to get some shots out there. But uh, we were just having some chit chats and talking about what are some of the myths, the Olaplex myths. And I'm going to turn this over and answer your questions. But we can start with the first one and I, I will let um, Tracy take this one because she was saying to me that it's not just about it's not just for hair color so I'm gonna flip this around you guys ask your questions we only are gonna do this for five minutes so hold on I'm Tracy take it away what's when we were talking about it's just for hair color it's not no I, I have clients that use it for um, a leave-in treatment just just for curls it makes your curls look so nice and the reason why is because Olaplex isn't a conditioner where you have silicones and oils um, it's just a cream with the Olaplex in it so it's just the perfect leave-in it's not too greasy it's perfect all right so then the the number two is the number three all right the number yeah the number three all right, so the, what, wait, say that again. It was the number three. Is, the number three. It's yes. a good leave in. Not yeah. just for color treated. Or the number hair. two if you're a hairstylist and you, and you have the number two on. The number two is a little stronger, which I like. All yeah. right, great. Okay, so Slim, I'm going to let you take this one. People think Olaplex is a conditioner. How do you respond to that? Olaplex is not a conditioner because, like Tracy said, it doesn't have any sil silicones, any sulfates. So it's not going to coat the hair with anything. Tracy did mention that you can leave it in as a conditioner, but you can also shampoo and condition it out. So you will still need to um, use it as a treatment, shampoo, condition, and use every other treatment that you're currently using in the salon, like protein, moisture, masks. Something that will make the hair feel nice and moisturized and, and very silky. Yeah, so you still need to buy your fabulous conditioners, and which is nice because everybody likes their, you know, to condition their hair differently. But one of the myths that I want to debunk is when people say Olaplex slows the process of the, of, the, of the bleach. That is not true. When you have Olaplex, when you're using Olaplex, say you're putting it in your, you know, 20 volume developer, and if you expect your 20 volume developer to work as a 20 volume, after you put a quarter ounce of a liquid into your developer, your nuts, a liquid is going to dilute another liquid. This liquid is going to dilute this liquid because that is just the law of nature. So when I'm using a 20 volume with a quarter ounce of Olaplex, I'm not sitting there going, oh my God, my 20 volume isn't working. I'm thinking this is working perfectly like a 10 volume, just like I planned. You know, if I wanted to, you know, my bleach to perform like a 20 volume, I am going to use a 30 volume. Now, if I want my 40 volume to work as a 40 volume, I'm only going to use one eighth of an ounce. And that would be only doing it halfway to one eighth. And that will keep your 40 volume working like a 40 volume. Yes. So, okay, so less I all say, you guys, People keep telling me that the connection is bad. So I am going to restart this. You guys uh, give us five minutes. I'm going to redo this and we'll go over the myths and get ready with your questions. Sorry, everybody.